Hello guys, Jose Rodriguez here and in this video I'm going to show you how can you start adding agents to your uh, WhatsApp manager server, okay? And there are different methods to do this. The first one in this video I'll show you how can you use the web interface to add a new agent, okay? Now when adding agents, uh, there, there is this concept of groups, okay? where you can put together uh, different um, uh, agents, okay? Now, I will create, um, even though you can use the default um, group, I'll create my own groups so I can put together devices that use the same operating system, okay? Um, there are different criterias. In this case, I'm using, I'm grouping my agents uh, based on the operating system that they are using. So I'll put together an agent for a Windows 7 device, a Windows 10, and a Windows 11 device. Okay. Um, and then another group for Linux devices. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when you read the documentation, um, there is an option to configure your agents when you're trying to um, collect a specific data sources. Uh, for example, sysmon logs, security logs, application logs, system logs, okay? And now you can you can modify uh, the configuration file for each agent on each device, or if all of them belong to a group, you can modify the configuration file for the group and that, that those changes w uh, will apply to all the different devices that belong to that group. So that's the reason why I'm using uh, one group, uh, a group that put together all the Windows devices and another group for uh, Linux devices, okay? That's not the only um, way to do this. There are other reasons why you would group different uh, agents, different devices. Um, but I guess it depends on how you interpret the, the documentation, okay? So what we are going to do first is create our groups. So we are going to the menu option here on the top left of your screen. And then if you go to server management here, you have endpoint groups. And as you can see, there is one group already created for you, which is the default group, but I'm going to create or add a new group. Okay, so I'll call this Windows um, that will put together all the Windows um, devices. Okay, and then I'm going to create another group that is for Linux devices. Okay. Oh, let's create one for Ubuntu Linux devices. Okay. Perfect. So now that we have our groups, okay. In this video, I will show you, if you go to server management again, uh, now for, uh, to endpoint summary, you will see that there, uh, you will see this message that says that there are no agents um, added to this manager, okay? So we are going to deploy a new agent. As you can see, we are going to use the web interface, okay, to create this agent. There are These are the three main operating system th systems that you can use. Um, it could be... Uh, Linux, it could be Windows or Mac OS. If you want to see the whole, the complete list of different systems and, and architectures that are supported by WhatsApp, you can click here and you will see all the different systems, okay? Depending on, on your use case. But for the purpose of this series, I'm just using Linux and Windows, okay? Perfect. So let's select Windows. Then we need the IP address, you should get something like this. Okay. So you just need to type the IP address of your server. If we go, if we open a terminal window and we run IP space A, remember that the IP address for my server is 192.168.0.41. Okay. So let's do that here. 192.168.0.41. And you can enable op also the option you know, if you only have one, you will use the same IP always. So it's going to be 192.168.0.41. And then it's asking you for a name. So let's call this agent Windows 11. And this will belong to the 
Windows Group. Ok. And after you complete all the information here in steps from one to three, in step four, the web interface gives you a command that you need to run, okay, uh, on PowerShell, okay, and you will need to run this as an administ with you. You will need to run this command with administrator privileges, and you need to use PowerShell 3.0 or greater, okay. And then the next step after you run this command, you will need to start the service, okay. This command is not for PowerShell. This is something that you can run in in the command prompt. If you want to use PowerShell, you can use service start or start service. Um, so let's start by copying this. And we are going to access. This is our Windows 11 instance that we are going to add to our, um, our WhatsApp manager server. OK, so let's go here and search for PowerShell, okay? And then we are going to run this as an administrator. So you just type the password for your administrator and we can paste the command, okay? So this command is basically downloading the, the installer, the application here and then it's actually executing the, the the agent installer okay with some parameters like the the ip address for the the wasm manager is also providing the, the context about the group and the name for this agent okay so you just need to hit enter and it will it will start downloading and executing everything nice now If you go here to your Windows Explorer application, after you run this command, you should see something on, if you go to C drive, if you go to program files, depending on the, on the, on the system, um, you will see a, a new folder, an OSEC engine here, program files or program files x86. If I'm not mistaken, it should be for Windows 11, it should be in this folder, Program Files x86. And here you can see the file that was just created. Okay, so it contains, it contains all the information um, if we open it. Okay, well, this is the folder. Um, I don't know. I think my mouse is not working. <laughs> um, well, but this is the folder that was just created. Okay. So now what we need to do now is we need to open the command prompt and then run this as an administrator again. And we need to run is net stat and the name of the service. Okay. Let's do this. It's not working. Let's start. This was a service. Okay, so the service was started successfully. Okay, nice. Now, how can you validate that the service is running? One one way could be if you access the services uh, application and you just open it as a regular user. If you scroll down, you should see the service here. Let me show you here. As you can see, it's running, okay? And the service, the executable for the service, as you can see, is under the OSEC agent folder that I showed it before, okay? Nice. So that's it. The agent was, was, was installed, okay? The service was started. Now, if we go to our server again and we click on endpoints to refresh, now you can see that your the your user is I'm sorry you, the the agent is active, right, and connected to our server. And that's it, as simple as that.
okay, using the web interface, we generated the commands that we can execute on our device and install our agent to um, start interacting with our WASA server, okay? So that was um, how can you install an agent for a Windows device using the web interface. In our next video, I'll show you how can you do the same, in this case, using a Windows 10 instance, but using um, the, <coughs> we are going to use the WASA server API, okay? Thank you.